Catherine, we have the latest in your temporary arts for the summer here at uh, Post Office Park. Tell us about it. Well, this is a piece by Christian Prash. It's called Occupied Wall. And it's really up to the community to decide what it is. Is it a barrier or is it a gateway? His idea is to spark community conversation about things like walls or community conversations, things that are important to people and coming together. It's, it's pretty cool. You're the Tempo Art Organization, and this is probably the most temporary of the temporary arts that you've ever done. Uh, what made you think of this? Well, there were three actually this summer, and each of them are just for the month. So this is the month of August. Um, all of the artists were chosen because they were a little bit about the American dream, which really riffs off our larger installation from a year ago um, that's in uh, Lincoln Park. But this one in particular is interesting because of it has some political overtones, but again, that's really for the community to decide how deep those run. Christian, you've just finished your piece, Occupied Wall, but it's only the beginning of it. Tell us about that. Yes, well, it's a work in progress. It is a social experiment where I provide a wall that's made out of components that is providing the wall, but also providing seating that the public can disassemble the wall and take away pieces and turn it into seating for dialogue. And what will remain once all the mobile pieces are away is a gate that opens you up into the plaza. And so it's a discussion of wall versus public dialogue and a place for public dialogue. And how did you come up with the idea for this? Um, well, the American Dream revision that it, uh, Tempo Art wanted us to look at was something that I was thinking about how to think about um, public resources and how we choose to spend them. Do we choose to create walls that create barriers or protection? quasi-protection or do we create spaces where we talk about our similarities and differences and really work out how to become a better community. And I thought that was how American Dream should be really thought about, making it the American Dream for everyone, regardless of their differences and their similarities with us. So for this piece, you really have a lot of, hopefully, a lot of co-artists working with you, but not, you won't be here. True. Exactly. I, I'm going to be visiting the site every morning and every evening to kind of lock down the site so that in the evening time it doesn't walk away necessarily. Um, that's something that could very much happen during the day. It's up to the public to, to really under, respect the peace and respect the community that is hoping to engage with it as much as they will. And so, um, yeah, it'll be somebody else's work for the month. I just gave them the platform just gave them the media to make it what they will, the wall or a place of engagement. So when you took down the yellow tape a few minutes ago, that was sort of the handoff? That's exactly correct. Um, we needed kind of our own space to make it, and then once that tape went down, it's up to the public to decide what it is to become. Do you think the public will be afraid to touch it because they think it's supposed to stay as it is? Um, that is a tendency with all art is typically it's off hands, don't touch it. Um, I've created some signage that really allows you to take that extra, that leap of faith and say, I'm going to make it what I want it to be. And um, I think art has that capability of becoming engaging, it, um, or it could be challenging in just how it is visually. I think it's going to be a piece that hopefully the public consumes for themselves, um, takes res respects it, as, and sees it as a piece of the community, not just something that they can take away. Um, and really gives you, them an opportunity to think about the public space, our public resources, what we should be doing with them, all of those things. That's, that's really what this temporary installation was about. But tell us a little bit about Tempo Art as an organization. What's your uh, philosophy and what do you hope to accomplish here in Portland? We're a group that raises money to do site-specific, curated uh, public art, temporary public art installations. Um, it's, it's something that we hope builds a sense of community. This is such a wonderful city and uh, we have a strong reputation in the arts. Public art is something that um, sort of combines 
the fine art, and then the idea of community participation. And if people want more information about Tempo Art or upcoming events, where can they go? Well, there's lots of fine places mm -hmm. to find out. You can go on Facebook and like Tempo Art. Um, you can Google us, you can find us, and uh, if anyone's very interested, they can just go online and find us, and we'll be sure to send out information on what's coming up next.